By the 21st century, no one had built a proper ocean liner for decades. But despite the challenges, Cunard signed the building contract with La Chantier de l'Atlantique shipyard in Saint-Nazaire in France, and construction commenced on Queen Mary II. Now with the QM2, we're not just talking about dressing up a cruise ship to look like an ocean liner. Designed by Chief Naval Architect Stephen Payne, Queen Mary II is in every way a true liner, capable of undertaking 40 years of transatlantic crossings in all weather conditions. In addition, the ship was designed to offer cruises, making the QM2 a dual-purpose liner. When QE2 eventually retired in 2008, the QM2 became the last of the great transatlantic liners, a role that she has continued in solitude ever since. There were two other ocean liners that were in service up until 2020, and that was the Astoria and the Marco Polo with CMV. However, these two ships were operating cruise voyages for CMV, not line voyages. And after CMV's collapse in 2020, they've both been withdrawn from service. So it looks like Queen Mary 2 will remain as the last ocean liner in service for the foreseeable future.